and stepping out after steps. What a tragedy. She was offered <laughs> one million pounds to pose in nothing but socks and a big smile, and she turned it down. Be very grateful. We're not talking about Colleen Nolan, but former step star <laughs> Faye Tozer. So, deftly swatting the many bees in their many bonnets, it's me, Kay Adams. <laughs> A body from Baywatch genuinely offered a million pounds to, bo to pose in her birthday suit for a top shelf magazine when she was part of the pop phenomenon steps and she turned them down. Now she's starring in the hit musical Love Shack. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. There's your tip, darling. Please welcome the gorgeous Faye Tozer. How are you? I know, I, I did mean to pop down, but I didn't have time. Really know. well, thank you. Nice to see you. She's changed. When you're ready, girls. When you're ready. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we forgot you were there. Um, yeah. So, have you got the number of that guy who phoned you because Colleen's gagging to yeah, get my ring? You know, from, for from that top shelf magazine. Oh, no, I've still got it. Um, it's down in my downstairs toilet, so I'll, I'll see if it's got the number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you're not tempted, just a wee bit. Do you know what? As, as you were saying before, if I was really that confident with my body, I'd go, come on and get them out. You know, I really would, but I'm not. Why aren't you, I'm though? Not. You see, women like you make me bath. <laughs> <laughs> How can we not be confident with that body? It's a I don't know. Know. I don't know. But also, <laughs> also, no, also I, I, I think my naked. dad would despair as well. Yeah. And yeah, you've got to think about your dad you as well. Don't. A million quid, a million pounds is a lot. If of I had money. no skills and I couldn't do anything else, I'd definitely get. How did it come about, Faye? Did what? Is it a phone call or? Yeah, it came through the press office. <laughs> oh, you were in steps at the time. Yeah. And did they was was it there, did they put any pressure not to do it or was it just your no, choice? No, they totally to just do? gave it to me and said it was up to me. And the thing is, it was the f oh, it could have furthered my career really if you think about do you it. Do believe that? Like, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I do yeah. think yeah. it. Yeah, I do. And I think that's awful to say, but so another yeah. awful thing to say. If the call came again tomorrow, would you think differently? No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Even yeah. though you've just said that it, it would possibly further your I know, career. but I'd rather be known to be an actress and a singer yeah. and a whatever than just for getting my kit off and people having an ogle at my boobs. Yeah, OK, another think. question. If it comes this time next year... I've <laughs> 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 got no job, job to I mean, yeah. exactly. <laughs> No, I still I mean, wouldn't. is there any point in your life we'd think, right, I need, I'd do this for the money even? No, it's just mm. one of those things that mm. I won't do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm exactly well, there you go. Yeah. You said it, you've committed Sorry. yourself now, you can't Boring. stop it. <laughs> so you're, you're touring with Love Shack at the moment. Yes. Um, and going back how long, what, five years, you're touring with Steps, yes. which the biggest selling band since the Beatles, is that right? That gets tagged yeah. on, is that true? Yeah. I mean, not at all being cheeky, because I know that is a very difficult show to do and it's been hugely popular in Love Shack, but it is different. I mean, let's be honest, oh, isn't totally, it? I mean, Steps yeah. is way up there. How do you find it? I mean, do you sometimes think to yourself, oh, five years ago I was way, way, way up and this isn't quite the same? I'm just in a different place. I wouldn't want to be in steps now. Um, I've moved on. I'm a lot older. I mm. can't be running around in yellow and jumping up and down anymore. <laughs> oh, we quite like that, do they? But no, it's, it's nice for me to challenge myself and go different places, meet other people, um, work in different environments, and I think it's a healthy place for me to be in, actually. Uh, how was it when it all finished? Because, I mean, steps were such a phenomenon. When it all finished, how did you emotionally come oh. to terms with, you know, all that kind it was of like. hideous. I just drank lots. <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> yeah. I, I think you like said that. somewhere it was like a divorce or. Oh, completely. It's like one day you're in the biggest band and then the next day you're unemployed. <laughs> it's like, mm. scary. Yeah, it's really what am I going to do? Luckily, I was picked up by Russell Watson and I did a single with him and went around the world with him, which was fantastic. But then after that, I was really lost. I felt mm. guilty for not doing anything, guilty for not being up at five o'clock in the morning, put my face mm. on and what and am I going to do with that myself? adulation that you'd had with Steps? Did, did that feel weird, being able to go out? I actually dyed my hair red and, and just hid away <laughs> like a hermit. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 But you must I, be minted anyway. 
Come on. <laughs> oh. Hey, I just I apologize. Well, listen, I'm Scottish. I always ask no. about money. I do apologize. We used to make a fortune. Come on. <laughs> we, we were advised well, so we invested well. Yeah. So, yeah, and I've just, I've just actually opened up my own recording studios, the Voodoo Lounge recording studios, with the money that I put towards But that. you still have to work, though, don't you? It's not like you, you did so amazingly well that you could just sit on your laurels right, for the rest exactly. of your life. You still have to Absolutely. earn a living. But I wouldn't want to sit on my laurels either. Mm. I, I need to work. I, I feel so much healthier and so much happier when I'm working. Are you still in touch with any of the other bandmates? I am now. Oh, <laughs> it took me a while. Um. <laughs> really did. But um, I've actually seen all of them in the last three weeks. So. That's cool. Why is that? Yeah. Um, just, just chatting and they're coming to see the show and just catching up and people have got birthdays and mm. issues. Yeah. It's, no, I mean, the business <laughs> is, uh, is really interesting at the moment in that, you know, there are lots of people who enjoy fantastic fame. I mean, based on genuine talent, no doubt about it. But there's also these faceless people behind who are making huge amounts of money yes. and mm -hmm. pulling all the strings. And yes. In fact, in your show, there's a chap who used to be in Hearsay and a guy who yeah. used to be John in Nell, S Club yeah. you know, <laughs> and all the rest of it. Is it difficult to sort of keep the faith and say, no, I, am, I mm. have got a talent, I am going to keep going here, or think, that was a fabulous five years, brilliant, but now I'm going to do something <laughs> but normal. What, what would you do? Mm. Well, that, I don't know, what would you do? That's my yeah. thing. I, my skills, I'm a singer and a dancer and an actress, that, those are my skills. Mm. I wouldn't know what to do. When it's you know, like I could manage done. to do it in Sainsbury's, you know. <laughs> I could do it in the checkout thing, but I wouldn't want to do yeah, that. that's nothing to live for. Exactly. Sometimes. And, you know, and even though it's in a theatre situation now, you still get the bright buzz and the mm. highlights and the, you know, excitement and <laughs> stuff like that. So it's just as good for me. I mean, people look down on it, but I think your skills have to be... Harder. I mean, I'm more mm. fit now than I was in steps, I think, just because you have to run around and sing live and get your costumes <laughs> on and off, and it is purely live. I you hope can't you don't get chase away. after your fitness instructor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fitness instructor. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I Fee, I have to say thanks very much for coming in, but also just quickly, since we said yesterday that you were coming on the show, we have had stacks and stacks of emails saying that everyone's so delighted to see you, and lots of people here who've been to see Love Shack, and Fee is fantastic they've got in there. So there you go, you've still oh, got lots of people out there. Love you. Mm. Fee Tozer, everyone. Thank you. Locked up for kidnapping a child in Dubai. She managed to get herself out of that scrape, but imagine her horror when her own kids were kidnapped and taken to war torn Iraq. Her remarkable story next. <laughs>